going to show you guys how to install the Gateway 500S Bluetooth. What this is, it's an iPod interface. It's really cool. It's by Denshin. Uh, connected and you'll be able to control your iPod or iPhone via the iDrive. So you'll be able to, uh, you know, look at the track list, playlist, control it with the steering wheel. It's Bluetooth, so you can do hands-free calling. If your car doesn't have Bluetooth, you can use this to make uh, hands-free calling. And also, you can do uh, wireless audio streaming. So you'll be able to, uh, you know, play music through your phone without having it being connected. So it's all wireless and Bluetooth. It comes with everything you will need. You got your uh, power wire. Got the uh, little adapter here so you can connect, uh, you can bypass it so you can use a CD changer, auxiliary, USB. Got your uh, Bluetooth microphone here, iPod cable, fiber optic cable, also with uh, the different connectors you will need. Obviously, uh, instructions and manual, and the module, the, the Denshin Gateway module, which is, this is really cool looking, nice, uh, it looks really nice, it's small, so you'll be able to hide it anywhere, uh, tuck it in anywhere, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install. Okay, uh, if you don't, if you do have a CD changer, you're going to have your wire, you have to disconnect your CD changer, because uh, the interface actually replaces the CD changer, so uh, you would just disconnect it and use the wiring from there. Uh, in my case, I don't have a CD changer, but my car is prepped for CD changer, so I'm already going to have the wiring. It's going to be hidden. Sometimes it's hitting way back here. It's going to be like this. This is the original power wire for the CD changer that came with the car. And this is going to be the, uh, it's looped right now. This is the uh, fiber optic cable. Right, real quick, I want to spice into the video real quick so I can show you guys. If you don't have the CD prep, how to connect the using the fiber optic cables that's supplied um you know i got lucky so i have the cd prep so i had the fiber optic cables in the back of the glove box if you don't they do supply the fiber optic cable so you can connect the denshin module directly to the unit um so i'm not going to take these i'm not going to connect it since mine's already uh, i can use these as an example but this will come with all the, the little connectors and the wiring that you will need to do it so um I already have my, my thing apart. I have another video where I'll show you how to get to this point, take it apart. You can look at my other videos and, and check it out. So once you uh, have it all apart, you want to get, uh, this is going to be the, the C block. So you just lift this up and take it out. And it should just come right out. Okay, so this is where we're going to ins install the Denshin uh, fiber optic cables right here. Really simple. This will go uh, lift up and then this slides out. So what you want to do is you want to read the instructions carefully so you can see how to loop it. But it's pretty, uh, it's not too hard, not too difficult. Difficult. Um, this little connector here will have arrows again. You can see the arrows up here. You go in and out. So this one's going in. So this should be the one that's coming out of the denshin. And this one's coming out. So this one should be going uh, into the denshin. Um, please really carefully read the instructions so you can know how to uh, loop it correctly. Um, this will all come so you'll have uh, all the fiber optic cables need necessary so this will plug into the here it'll just snap right in and easily just uh, plug it back in and so it would it will cause this is what you this is what, how you will use these if you don't have the fiber optic already looped in um, since mine already did it I want to show you guys how to do it in case yours isn't prepped already you can still use it uh, you might not be able to uh, have the denshin right here in the glove box. You might have to tuck it behind here. There is space back here, and you just have to uh, run the wire out. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys in case anyone runs into that situation. To take this out is really easy. You kind of just pull this cover off. And you're going to have this little connector right here. Uh, these have these little, little tabs right here you have to lift up to remove it. And so let's see. These you get like a little. You can use your nail or a flathead and lift this up and pop it out. Really easy to uh, remove these. Just be careful. You don't want to break anything. And just put these aside. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is we want to get the uh, in the dention. It has different connectors. You want to get this one right here. This is the one that you're gonna be using to connect to the back of the gateway. It comes with different ones. It's this one right here, the one that fits in the back of the uh, the gateway. 
So what we need to do is we need to find out which one of these is the uh, the input. The best way to do that is right here is gonna have a you're gonna see a light. That's gonna be the input. You want to start up the car real quick. And now you can see the the red light. That one's gonna be the input. Now you're gonna get this. You want to remove this little blue thing. Blue things easy to remove. You get like a paper clip. You push it through from the back. It just it locks the fiber optic cables in place. So you just remove that. Just don't lose that blue thing. Okay, so you want to get the um the hot one, which is uh, this one right here. This is the the one with the light. So this is gonna be the uh, the wire, the input. So we want to find this connector. It's gonna have arrows. There's only one way to put it in, so it's gonna have the arrows going downwards. So that's gonna be the input. And then you want to get the other one. It's gonna be the output. So that's done. Okay, so now that we have it, we can uh, lock it in place. It's this way right here. There, it's locked in place. Now you want to slide this in. Now this is ready to be plugged in. Now we gotta worry about the power line. Now do you have a few options if you don't have a CD changer and you don't have this wire? Um, there's a few options. Uh, if you look down here where the 12 volt is right here, I have an air fresher connected to it, but where the 12 volt is right here, if you take apart this, it's really easy. There's a few screws here, up here, here, and it pops down. You can spice into this wire and this will be a hot uh, when it's the car is turned on. So it'll be the same as the wire that's I'm connecting to. Um, you can also buy a 12 volt plug that has the wire uh, ground and ground and power that turns on when the car's on, and you can just wire it through here, and right here. That's if you don't want to spice into the wires. Um, you can also just disconnect the 12 volt and just get the connectors to plug into it. There's a few options if you don't want to spice into it or if you don't have this. Um, since I have it, I got lucky. I had the prep, so. Um, to get to unplug these from the stock ones, you have to stick a, a paper clip in here and press it down and it should just pop right out. There we go, pops out. Now like I said, um, I had adjusted my, my cable. Now be careful with these because these are uh, live wires so you would want to disconnect the battery to make sure you don't short anything. Okay, so I have these so I'm going to go ahead like uh, these going like this. And as much as I don't like using in the time being for the video purposes, and because I don't have the, uh, I would love to get a connector that I can connect these, this one here together to another one. So until I can find the, the uh, female end of this connector, I'm going to use a little bit of electrical tape, which should be fine for now. It's not going to be a permanent solution. And so do the same thing with, this is going to be a brown wire, which is going to be the ground. There, so we have the power set. Now let's get our gateway unit. Here we have our unit right here. It's gonna be the power one. There's, uh, the, it's really cool. This thing allows you to still connect two different ones. So if you still have, you want to keep your CD changer, you build to connect to this one. It comes with instructions on how to wire it up. Uh, I don't have a CD changer on mine, so I'm just gonna focus on uh, just wiring up the tension, which can be on this side right here. Just read the instructions; it'll tell you it's gonna be this one right here. That's set, and then you get your uh, your power wire. It's gonna be right next to that one. You just plug it right in. That plugs right in. Now this you can probably just tuck back here. I like how this is really small, where you can you'll be able to hide it back there. It won't get in the way of anything.
Okay, the next wire you want to get is your uh, the iPod cable wire. Now, uh, I went ahead and I had already routed mine from here through there through the back of this. I have another video that shows uh, how to uh, route this, how to, how to route the wire. I have it connected to my my spec dock. So it's a, it, my spec dock is going to be directly connected to this via this wire. This is this wire is connected to that. I have another video that shows you how to do that. I'll put a link below. And so this one's going to connect it to the far right right here. Again, the Denshin has the uh, instructions on how to connect this. So if you get confused by the video, just go ahead and look, look at the instructions. They also have the instructions available online on their website. And this one right here is going to be for the uh, this little unit right here. It allows you to bypass it or activate it. Uh, has auxiliary in and also has the uh, blue uh, USB connector so you can always route this somewhere um, like right here or something I might eventually have to find a place to route it where it will be easily accessible um, this looks like a good spot you can hide it somewhere or in the underneath the uh, the driver's side under panel uh, I'm gonna leave it right here just gonna show you guys how it's connected and also Right here, you can plug in your hands-free microphone. Like I said uh, previously, um, I already have Bluetooth on my car, so um, I won't be showing you how to really route this one because I would have no need to, but I will show you guys how it works. I will test it out. So I will connect it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to route it. I'm just going to have it outside the glove box and I'll just put it somewhere right here so that we could use it later. So, you know, in the end, this is really small. That was really easy to install. And you have your USB plugs here. And when you route this somewhere, you've got to plug in the USB here. Um, that didn't take very long to install. It's already working. I see my thing charging already. And this... And that's all it really took to connect it. Just want to make sure it's working, and then I'll give you guys a little, um, uh, I'll give you guys a little example how it works, how I use it. All right, now that we have everything installed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to use it. Um, everything's already connected. I have my spec dock connected directly to my Denshin. Um, so the way the Denshin works, you can, you're gonna have to go to, uh, you're gonna have to have the, the, the car coded. With CD changer, you see here I have option CD1, always CD6. Um, the Denshin only uses CD1. I have another video that shows you how to code this in. And so you can watch my other video, you can find that video. So to use the Denshin, we go to CD1, option right here. It shows you like the different uh, different settings you can do. The sources, for instance, uh, right now I have it on USB. I put a little USB uh, thumb drive. So it shows you the different... Uh, I only have a few songs. I only have a few songs in the USB drive. I just threw them in there real quick so I can make this video. So, um, so I can click on different different songs. It'll play. Steering controls work. Go to the next song. Let's say, okay, so now let's say we go to root. We can choose different sources, like for instance, uh, my iPhone. Now we can show all the different songs on here. You can go to uh, let you choose a different, you know, playlist, artists, album, songs, genres, compose everything you have on your on your iPod. It will pretty much show up on here. You know, your different playlists. You can uh, scroll through. Two different songs. You can click on reggae. Like I said, the steering wheel controls work. Pause. It shows up which playing on there. Go to the next song. Okay, another cool feature is obviously the the Bluetooth Bluetooth streaming. Uh, 
what you want to do is you want to connect your your phone to the uh, go to uh, settings to collect the Bluetooth make sure the gateway is selected I disabled my my Bluetooth so let's uh you go to you go to root go to source Bluetooth audio Now playing the Sublime song from earlier. See, get ready. Get ready shows up on here. Completely wireless. Go to uh, next song. Starts playing. Updates right there too. Really cool, it's completely wireless, so. And also what works also is uh, Pandora. Pandora actually works really well with this. I've used it with Spotify. I don't have an account with them anymore, but when I did have the trial version, it did work. Let me load up Pandora. So Pandora works really well. It even shows the track name of what's playing on Pandora. So we got Blink-182, Don't Leave Me playing. You can see Blink-182, Don't Leave Me playing right here. Next track. Oh, sorry, that's an ad. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Um, also, what works really well is the iTunes, the new iTunes radio. So let's click on this. Uh, let's click on hip-hop radio. MIA is playing, shows up on the track, you know, you can skip it, works really well, of course you can always just, you know, plug it in as well, alright, now we can try on, out the uh, Bluetooth calling, so I, I, like I said, I have Bluetooth on my car already, so I, I disabled it so I can make the video, so I have this wired up, uh, it came with the Denshin, so it's hands-free calling, you know, you can call, let's see, I'll call someone right now. It's going to show up right here, gateway. You can hear on the loudspeaker. Hello? All right, I'm just testing out the microphone on here. All right, see you later. So I just called someone. I just called my friend real quick. Uh, it worked. It does the hands free. It's really cool. So you know, if you don't have Bluetooth in your car, along with the gateway, now, now you can use it. And you gotta have Bluetooth. So overall, I really like this. Uh, the Gateway 500. The Bluetooth is really cool feature. If you, especially when you use it with the Spec Doc, like I do, is really clean, really uh, hands free. You can do anything, and then um, the quality of the music's really good. And. I like that you can use it with Pandora. You can play. Uh, you can put a YouTube video, and it will pl uh, play the audio from the YouTube video. So uh, this is my video on the gateway installation and little uh, how to use. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.